Today I'm going to be showing you how to make your own dog collar. And the first thing I wanna show you is all the supplies that you're going to need because you'll need to gather these before you can start the project. Uh, so the first thing you're gonna need, scissors. Uh, you'll also need a lighter. You will need a set of needle nose pliers. You're going to need a fabric measuring tape. You're going to need a buckle. This is um, a pretty standard plastic buckle. You can get these at craft stores. You can order them online. Um, also a D-ring and some 550 paracord. Now, uh, I'm gonna go through the measurement guidelines in a minute, but uh, the regu the rule to find out how much paracord you need is that you'll need about two feet of paracord for every inch that you need the length of the collar. So you're gonna measure uh, with your fabric tape measure around your dog's neck, keeping your two fingers inside the tape measure when it goes around your dog's neck and that'll ensure that it's uh, tight enough without being too tight. This is a non-adjustable collar, so you don't wanna make it too tight. Um, I measured for our Beagle Molly. Her collar needs to be 14 inches long. So I, uh, in order to find out how much paracord I'm gonna need, I'm going to set my tape measure down and I'll zoom in a little bit so that you guys can see the length a little bit better. Uh, so I need 14 inches for Molly, but the buckle is going to take up some of that. So I'm going to put my buckle here at 14 inches and uh, you can see that it stops at 12 inches. So I'm gonna need 12 inches of the paracord part of the collar. 12 times two is 24 feet, so I'm gonna need about 24 feet of paracord. This is an estimate. You're gonna have some left over at the end. I can almost guarantee it, but it's better to have more than to not have enough. So that would be my recommendation for how much paracord you'll need. I have measured my 24 feet of paracord and then uh, I cut the ends. Now you can see like this one is pretty frayed on the end. You don't want that. So this is where you're going to use your lighter and just melt the end a little bit. Once you see it kind of cinching together, you're good. Um, and then use your needle nose pliers just to press that together and flatten it out and that way it will fit through your buckle. I'm gonna do the same thing on the other end as well. We're ready to start weaving the paracord and I'm gonna try and show you guys um, from my point of view, so hopefully you'll be able to see this okay. Uh, so you have your strand, this is on my left and this one's on my right. We're gonna start with the left strand. We're going to bring it underneath so it's going over itself, underneath the two middle, and over the right, and we're gonna pull the entire thing through. And then with the right, the right needs to go underneath itself, over the two middle, and underneath the left. And that's gonna look kind of funny on this first knot, but it, you'll see with our second knot um, what it's going to be, the pattern that it's going to be taking. Now that I have everything pulled through, I just wanna cinch, cinch this up. You can see uh, the knot there. You wanna push that up and just tighten it as much as you can. You'll be able to tighten it more as you go. And we're gonna continue that pattern throughout the entire collar. So I'm gonna take my left strand. It's going to go over itself, under the two middle, over the right. Pull it all the way through. Then I have my left strand, it's going to go underneath itself, over the two middle, underneath the left. Pull it all the way through. And again, I want to cinch that up, push the knot up and tighten it as much as I can. So I'll show you the pattern one more time. Uh, the left is gonna go over itself, under the middle two, over the right, pull it all the way through. And the left is going to go under itself, over the middle two, under the left. Pull it all the way through. And then we're going to cinch up that knot, pull it as tight as we can. 
And now that we're about an inch from the buckle, this is where I'm going to add my D-ring. You can add yours anywhere you'd like, uh, but this is where I like to add mine so it's closer to the buckle. Uh, so I'm gonna take my left side and do it just as I would over itself, underneath, and over, and pull it through. Then with my right side, it's going to go under itself, through the D-ring and over the two middle ones as always and then underneath the left and I'm going to pull all of that through. And now when I tighten my knot you're going to see that it's holding the D-ring so I'm going to slide all of it up the knot with the D-ring and tighten that. And then I'm going to keep doing that until the entire uh, straight line of the D-ring is covered. I'll zoom in a little bit for you and you can see that the entire straight part of the D-ring is covered. So now I'm just gonna continue until the entire length of my collar is finished. Once you come to the end of your dog collar, when you can't weave any more, uh, you're gonna have your long ends and you're gonna wanna cut those to about two, two and a half inches long. Now, just like we did in the beginning, you're going to singe each end. And press it with your needle nose pliers. Now you're going to tuck the right end through the right side and the left end through the left side because you still have those two middle uh, strands. Flip it over. Using your needle nose pliers, you want to loosen uh, one of the middle knots about uh, two or three, maybe three or four knots down and tuck the ends in. Then depending on how long your ends are, you can go to uh, skip one and go to the next one and you can pull your ends through that one. Once you get to where uh, the ends are fairly short, then you can just tuck them in if you want to, uh, down through the following loops. Once you've tucked in the ends, like you can see that I've done here, your collar is complete. You can see the D-ring nicely there. Everything fits and it looks great on Molly. If you have any questions, feel free to reach out and thanks for watching this how-to guide.